A poem by Phoenix Jira. Dear Grandma, I wonder where you are, my mirrored thoughts of you, dancing quietly with him, him being Grandpa, of course, or are you sitting wondering about me? I know we are not entirely alike, perhaps in many ways much different, but there are days I want to talk, reach out to you, not in grief or lament. I realize now the passage of time, how quickly it goes for us all. Would you tell me to slow down or keep me from banging my head on the wall? I don't know, I don't know why I never asked before of all the things I wish to know now. But if I could bring you back to me, it would be for today, for tomorrow, for right now. I miss you, Grandma. A reading from old scrapbooks. I spend a lot of time in my grandmother's house, watching the past and dreaming of moments long ago. I never understood what was there other than through the eyes of a child, later a teenager and a young adult. I still, still never had the sense to ask questions. Who are you, Grandma? Where did you come from? What was it like? But knowing her, she would never have told me what it was truly like living when she did. Grandma kept her pain to herself, probably a defense mechanism, or maybe a way to move forward in life. It is sad to me that I know so little of her life, and that it's lost to me. My memories of her, and my thoughts of her, was a reality in my mind of who she was. Will someone someday keep me alive? as they see me in their memories? Will that be the truth of me? Or a new reality? I don't picture myself telling my grandkids all of the pain of my life, but instead the joy. Why share such a reality when knowing the truth could just make them sad? The double-edged sword, of course, is that not telling the bad experiences makes it so that history inevitably repeats itself. Perhaps my experiences will help future generations. Then again, perhaps not.